kind of cheating today. The video that I put with today's vlog was a little bit of me working on my daughter's Halloween costume. I didn't get a chance to record much yesterday, but I have recorded a lot um, of different things over the past week, two weeks. And on the days I don't get to record a whole lot, I'm including those or the things that I just want to put in with the theme of that day. I'm putting those in that day's vlog. I hope that makes sense. Good morning, everybody. It is November the 5th at about... About 8.37 a.m. specific. Um, sorry about the shaky. If it is shaky, I don't have my tripod right now. I'm getting ready to get into the day. Everybody's at school. And, oh, I always do this when I get on camera. <laughs> I guess because I don't stop and look to see how I look until I'm actually here. And I'm like, oh, why would I choose to record this? <laughs> but it's helping me overcome some of my blocks. And so far, this is the fifth day that I've been recording daily. Um, I feel inspired. And I'm not letting the numbers bog me down or worry me or anything like that. It's just for me and I'm feeling really inspired and proud of myself so far. Um, and I'm editing yesterday's vlog and I will have that up hopefully by noon. And just kind of try to remember to record some stuff today. Hopefully everybody is having a good day even though it's Monday. Uh, I have to readjust everybody being gone after the chaotic weekend and stuff. So we'll see what I get done today. Bye for now. Here's Charlotte's costume. She wants to be a puppy for Halloween, a Dalmatian. She loves dogs. Um, so I, we've got this little mask, this little hat. Got it at Party City. She already wore it Sunday when we went to a trunk or treat. Look, <laughs> my pliers pinched the crap out of my finger. But, um, it's super cute. It is so cute on her. And I'm going to make this little shirt kind of a Dalmatian pattern. It's This has little gloves. What the gloves look like? Um, so I'm just taking a fabric crayon and trying not to go overboard. I'm like Jenna Marbles with that too much jean. So I'm just kind of doing a random pattern. And then I'll go back in and fill these in with paint. The spray paint, it was like a last minute solution. I'll show her other one that she wore Sunday in, in a little bit. Um, it's really cute, but some of the spray paint splattered. So we got this t-shirt at Dollar Tree. Which the t-shirt she got that we spray painted, I got, we got at Dollar Tree. And I made her her green eggs and ham outfit with it last year. And so I just took off the green eggs and ham and we spray painted uh, the spots onto it. My husband did. And here's the green eggs and ham I made her last year. And it just was kind of on there and a cute little t green tutu and it had eggs on it. Oh, so cute. And we used a hair dryer to loosen up the glue and peel it off of the other shirt but I wanted a fresh start so thankfully Dollar Tree still had these one dollar t-shirts here's the back I got the sleeves here let's put a couple of spots on the sleeves okay so overall I think I got all the dots on here the way I want them and like I said if there's any other spots that need any I could easily add some and here's the paint I'm using it's craft smart um, it does say it will work on fabric so that's good it always sticks when I don't want it to I'm shaking this up try not to make more of a mess of myself let me get this off of the clean shirt okay I'm gonna start here at the top.
Okay, so I got most of the front done except for some spots on the sides. I don't want to readjust it too much. I'm just going to let these dry and then I will finish up on the sides here and then start the other side. But anyway, this one is kind of eh, but bear with me. I'm really enjoying doing this and I hope everybody is okay. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Mwah.